advertising model. Like I discussed, we live in a world we need to understand the risk measurement. Capital asset pricing model, you know, defined or changed the way we price. It simplified quantification and simplification of risk of risky asset classes. When we'll understand risk, we'll understand systematic risk and unsystematic risk. So it measures the systematic risk of risky asset. We'll try to understand, give you a forward looking, you know, you could have a forward looking view on asset classes, what would be the expected return, which is the fair price of the return of the risky asset, depending on the risk profile. Whenever you're looking at projects, now let you could do, you'd be looking at whether we should be doing a project or not in any sector. Now, the things which you could be looking at is a hurdle rate. This is the end. If your cash flows are very uneven, there's something known as an internal rate of return. Hurdle rate could define as that internal rate of return if you want to be doing a project flow management and how it evolved. promotes uh, passive investment. Uh, basically, the hypothesis is like, uh, you know, over a period of time, uh, passive, uh, passive investments, basically index funds, or it could be ETFs, you know, are going to beat even the active of analysis being done. We're going to be discussing that. The whole idea of uh, educative videos or bit with bit of sort of a documentary is to understand how the CAPM evolved over a period of time. We always talk about risk. What are we talking about risk when we're talking about? We, this risk has got two sort of two components. One is the time value. The more the time, higher the time value, you know, time value adds into volatility. We're talking about volatility. We're talking about dispersion between the actual and returns. So we're talking about variance. So here we talk about uh, William Sharp. He won a uh, Nobel Prize uh, in Economic Sciences along with Markowitz. And we'll be talking about him in depth and also Martin Miller. It's properly measured the average actively managed dollar. What he's trying to promote. Uh, talk about is about the market index and you know how over a period of time the passively managed of funds or performance will be much better so can you beat the market so that's how this you know the story is going to start soon and how it's this is some of the over a period of time results have been done and you know it's it's seen you know that indices tend to outperform majority of the actively managed funds so when i talk about indices it's actively managed uh, funds which over a period of time basically medium to long term got a better performance just to give you a perspective Look at one of the key milestones in the history of Capim. The the reason why these are selected because it goes with the storyline does not mean not a very exhaustive list and there are some very prominent names which are not contributed immensely like Franco Modi Gilani and Morton Miller. Uh, rising majorly is not come in. Then uh, Paul Samuelson is also not listed. So there are very prominent people who are not there. These are some of the people whom I listed, which goes now with the storyline of what I'm going to be thinking about. So it starts with a bachelor who thesis at Sorbonne University in, uh, in France. You know, it's one of the most prestigious universities around the world. Now see, these are some of the steps. Then you have uh, Keoshi Ito, who is one of the greatest uh, mathematicians, uh, Japanese mathematicians who laid out lemma. So it's important to understand this concept, essential stochastic processes. So underlining for the options pricing so his his name comes here we'll go to a bit of Brahminian motion we'll just see an overview we, uh, one of the most prominent names is of course dr harry markovich published a selection paper which brought him you know worldwide recognition this is the first time somebody tried to quantify a portfolio management you know quantified it in terms of risk return profile we have now james toblin we'll also look at the theorem will eugene pharma who played such an important role in efficient markets concept we have william sharp jack trainer jack trainer laid down the you know suggested return in terms of name and Mohsin will talk about securities market lines. They are very prominent names. So Michael Jensen contribution and understanding the return of securities and alpha. We'll be discussing the various contributions in the field of capital markets.